Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Mars Wardlogs playthrough here. And, well, we've found ourselves a nice little hidey hole in this location. Taking out the trash with these guys. Uh, even though they're bandits, I still don't want to drain them of serum, because... Uh, Moral choices, all that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm a nice guy, unfortunately. So, uh, otherwise, it'd be nice free money. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do today is go to Charity's bar to speak with her. So let's head that way now, which is just back through this direction. Through the other people that I took down. <laughs> And back into the slums. Alright, should just be right up here, yeah. Did I check this corner for loot? It does appear so. Yep, that's a box I opened. And I'm assuming that's the bar. I like those splashes of color with that. I know I keep bringing it up. I brought it up a few times in the last episode. But I do like it. I quite enjoy when they throw in things like that. Can I loot that pile? Nope. <laughs> oh, there's stuff I can loot. How's it going, guys? Having fun? Doing okay? Fair enough. Let's roll into the bar. Hello. Are you guarding that door? You have a weapon. Hmm. Huh. That looks like a door to me. So I'm assuming we're gonna go through that at some point. Let's check up here. Wow, nice place you got here. Hello, well, Charity. Well, well. The handsome boy is back. And with a cute little boy, too. Can't introduce us. Charity, this is Innocence. Innocence, this is Charity. A great lady of Chatelaire. Great lady, huh? A great lady. <laughs> don't listen to him, boy. I used to be a whore. Nothing more. But I don't keep my ears plugged. That's kind of why we came to see you. We'd like to know what happened to some former members of the militia. Former militia? His family, I suppose. Indeed. Poor kid. Pretty much all of them were arrested in a single night. No one knows what happened to them after. I imagine there's a kind of a resistance movement seeing what the government's like. The kid wants to get in touch with them. Hmm. You know, they're a secret society. And a secret society is, well, secret, you see? They don't exactly carry signs saying who they are. It'll take time. And I need a favor. Of course. A um, friend of mine disappeared. And she's not the kind of girl anyone files a missing person on, if you see what I mean. She left a while back to go to Tierville, and she never came back. Find her, boy, and I'll find the resistance for you. In the shopping district, huh? All right, I'll take care of it. Okay. Well. Citizens? Yes? What do you think of all this? few questions to ask you, if it's okay. You seem to be only thinking about the resistance. Why? Maybe because his parents may be dead? I hope they'll help me understand. To get over my parents, too. And I can't just stand back. I have to do something or I'll go crazy. I understand. How you holding up, kid? I... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm out of it, and sometimes I'm full of anger, but I'll be fine. Alrighty. If you ever need a hand, you can count on me. Thank you. Really. I... it's hard, but thanks to you, I think I'll be fine. And at least I have a goal now, something to work towards. To get their house destroyed like this, my guess is your parents weren't just anybody in the militia. I honestly didn't care about that stuff at all before I went to war. 
But it's true. A lot of people used to drop by to see them. Asking for advice, all that kind of stuff. Man, do I regret not paying more attention. And not As you should. To stop it all. No point in thinking about the past now. Come all on, right, let's go. move. And let's see. So we have to find Faith, and we also still have to get those false IDs. Hmm, which I'm assuming we're gonna need to actually get through there. Hmm. Yes, because that Tierville exit was where the guards were, so we need to head to the slums to get those false IDs first, because I really don't want to have to fight my throat way through the entirety of Tierville. Tierville. There we go. Ah, all right. And just move back around here. And back into our friendly neighborhood slums. Oh wait, no, that's not where I meant to go at all. <laughs> because, yes, I can read maps perfectly well. <laughs> okay. Nope, put the weapon away. Yeah. Alright, so turn here. Oh, hey, this hey whoop. you, sir. Listen, do you think you could help me out? Potentially. Problem. <laughs> you can say that again, but I think you, you're the guy for the job. From what I've seen, you're not the kind scared of duking it out with scumbags. Eh, I'm not I have my moments. Making a career out of it. Of course, of course, but it's for a good cause, see? There's this gang of junkies that's set up in my workshop. I can't go there anymore. And if I can't work, well, I can't earn a living. I'll pay you, of course. Hmm... I get the impression you're not exactly short on junkies around here. Used to be they kept a low profile, but when the army started checking everyone going around the shadow layer, they figured out pretty quick it was a field day for them. Lovely. The soldiers are too busy standing around at checkpoints on the main streets to go chasing junkies around the slums. So this bunch of bums set up in my place, in my workshop, and there's not a thing I can do. But you'll help me, right? Please. Nah, sure, what the heck. So I get a bunch of addicts out of your place. Then what? Then I'll give you some serum, of course. And if you ever need a hand, you just let me know. Turnabout and all that, right? All right, I'll go see those squatters. Thank you, thank you so Alrighty. much. Alrighty. I owe you. And actually, I'm the craftsman around here. Roy, wandering evictor. Later. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, so where are these junkies? Oh, just in here. Ah, uh, I knew we'd be heading back into this. I figured it was kind of weird just for a... Oh, oh innocence is stuck on the terrain. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Hmm. Well, not for long, it isn't. You're stopping Mr. Reality right. from working, <laughs> and the soldiers only let you go because I begged the lieutenant, right? We work together, but he won't keep looking the other way forever. Mom, don't make me look bad in front of my friends. <laughs> Leave us the fuck alone, man. Yeah, Mom. Stop making him look bad and go suck your lieutenant off. And tell him well, that was he just didn't rude. see nothing, huh? Hey, shut the fuck up, man. Man. What? Who are you? You do evict people. Mm hmm. The name's Roy. I was sent here to get the workshop back to its rightful owner. I knew it. The perfect hangout, huh? Please don't hurt them. They're just kids. They look old enough to stand and walk to the door, unless maybe they want to crawl. But they I could arrange that. Doing. They I can shoot lightning from my hands. They have no idea what they're doing to other people and themselves. Hmm. Be a bit of an ass. 
or be kind, or a little bit indifferent. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Suggesting I let a guy who didn't do a thing pay for them? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. But violence will only make things worse. I can hardly get through to my son. Please, they're just kids. Go after the ones who take advantage of them instead. Take out a drug dealer? You want me to take out their dealer? I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. That's any of my business. They're squatting here to hide, and because their dealer's nearby. If you cut off their supply, you'll be creating a long-term answer to your problem, and you'll be saving lives. Hmm, I do like that. All right, I'll go find the dealer. Just don't make me regret it. Oh, thank you. Believe me, they'll react fast. I'm a nurse, and I know the effects of all these drugs only too well. Hmm, the probably a good idea to help her out then, being a nurse. He has a place in the shanty. I'll show you on your map. All right, I'll go pay him a visit. All right, let's go take out a dealer. Ah, hey, it's in the place where we're going to get the papers. Excellent. Two birds, one stone. Let's roll. Hey, buddy. Alrighty, so this way. Always good to have extra hardware. Hey guys, how's it going? So yeah, it's just through here then. Ah, R. And I, that I still don't get. I think I say it every episode, but why some doors you click, why some are... <sighs> okay, we are deeper into the slums now, and we need to find... false IDs and take down a dealer. Let's do this. Who should we take down first? Okay. Oh, so the false IDs are farther through the slums in the northern neighborhood, so let's take care of the dealer first, which I'm assuming is that X over in that direction. And it looks like all these people are probably going to be enemies. So they don't look friendly. Yeah. Whoop! Yep, they're alerted. <laughs> Roll! Ah, uh, that roll did not work out too well. Oh, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. Roll. Whoop. Ah, the sort of tight quarters here. Having trouble with the rolling. Oh, geez, someone shot me. Okay, there's more than I anticipated. Oh, this isn't going to go well. This is not going to go well at all. Though it seems to be pretty par for the course, I move into a new area, I die. Then I fight again and typically win after one or two more goes. And Innocence, as always, has been taken down. Uh, sometimes I wonder about that kid. Ha! Roll away! <laughs> oh, God. Alright. I'm doing okay so far. Hiding them around these buildings definitely slows them down, but the problem is then I have to find a good time to strike when one of them is somewhat isolated. Which is a bit of a problem at the moment. Charge! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, I do love being able to shoot lightning from my hands. It's pretty fun. Let's try something a little different, though. Let's round this corner. And then do... One of these shock... Oh, no, I had no target. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, the targeting system. A little bit... Whoa, hey, he's shooting. Okay. Let's turn... Him with a shock. Oh, he's out of reach. Oh god, roll, 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 roll. Ah, I keep going in circles for some reason. Oh, because I'm locked on targeting that guy. 
Oh, that's not good. I didn't know you could do that. Can I unlock him? Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> yep. Okay, so if I click on someone, it locks on my camera to them, which I did not know. And that's actually a little annoying, and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. <sighs> okay, so... Let's go here and sneak. Ah, I had to go through this again. Skip. And sneak. Good job, Innocent. Stay out of sight there for a moment. Okay. And now run! <laughs> Innocence, go into the fray! You're in my way! Okay. Well, I got that guy's back turned there. And shock! No, I said shock! Oh god, they're attacking and breaking my shocking thing. Okay, alright, alright. Let's go out this way. There's one of the guys with the gun. Oh god, oh, they took down Innocence and it's just me again. Oh god. This isn't going too well. Alright, okay, I need to think of a new plan here. Hmm. Innocence, why, why are you so useless in a fight? Okay, that guy. Let's get him with an arc. There we go. Hit and run arc attacks. I think that might be a good plan today. <laughs> oh, it's a little sad, but it'll work. And Q. Yeah, that guy. That should take him out. Actually, I actually use the shockwave. Nope. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so still not entirely good on the targeting bit. So let's roll around here again. Hello! And roll away! <laughs> Riveting combat here today, folks. Me running in circles. <laughs> oh, I need to get better at this combat system. Okay, is he good enough to attack? Okay. We got a damage in on a couple of them. A few of them are near death now. Or at least being knocked out, since you actually have to finish them off with the extractor thing. Oh, come on. I rolled through that. Whoop. Roll away. Roll away. You can't get stuck in one of those groups. One-on-one -on -one and even two-on-one -on -one I can generally do. But when there's any more than that, I'm... I'm in trouble. So let's... Yeah, we should be able to finish this guy off. There we go, that's one down. Okay, so we've got three now. Might be able to take them in a bit more open area like this. Let's hit him. He should be in range now. Okay. That one's down, and... There we go. Okay. Whew. There we are. That's finished up. Let's search him. Yeah, definitely one-on-one -on -one or even two-on-one, -on -one, I tend to be okay. But any more than that, and things get bad. Very, very quickly. And innocence? Oh, kid, you're... Uh, sometimes you're a bit of a liability. <laughs> Alright, is there any loot in this area that I could grab while I'm at it? I didn't really see any while I was running around. But then again, <laughs> I was preoccupied. I also need to try out this some at some point. I keep forgetting to. 
Hmm. Did I loot this guy? I did not. Ah, good thing I did. He had a lot of good stuff on him. And let's head up this way. Yeah, that should be good. You don't look like you're gonna try to kill me. Did you hear that? They see technomancers are doing raids downtown. Ah, crap! I'm gonna run into more of them, aren't I? Well, I'm gonna steal your loot. There we go. Scrap pile. Excellent. Innocence is stuck on the terrain again. <sighs> okay. And turn here. And let's clear ourselves out a dealer. Are those guys wanting to fight? Am I in that combat area yet? Or not quite? Am I? No, no, I guess not. Serenity, I presume? You presume too much. If you don't know who you're dealing with, you got no business here. I Is your I'm business dealing, dealing? That's why I came to see you, to ask you to stop selling your shit to Chance and his gang. Ask, being a euphemism, if you even know what that means. <laughs> a feminism, huh? Funny. No, nah, no, nah, that's, that's not it at all, buddy. About, but now I'm the one asking. I'm asking you to leave real fast, or your head will be asking to get kicked. Yeah, you're gonna get shocked. If you even know what that means. I see you're having trouble yep. hearing me. You're gonna get shocked. With kicks, I should be able to force another way into your skull. What? Okay, guys, I want to see him bleeding all over. But first, shock. There we go. <laughs> I do love that arc lightning. Whoa. And, whoop, shoot him. Okay. The, oh, okay, all right, these guys doing a bit more damage than I was hoping for. Four, that's not actually what I meant to do, and I'm down. I <laughs> forgot I took four off of my hotbar, and, ah, oh, God, Innocence got taken down again. <laughs> okay. Open the door. Let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, I'm also gonna charge that up on this fight. Yeah, I forgot I moved that off of my quick bar. Hmm. Kinda tempted to lay down one of those traps before I start the conversation. <laughs> I'll just set it right here for these guys to find. <laughs> ah, let's talk, buddy. Serenity, I presume. You presume too much. If you don't and let's skip through this. If you there we go, and fight. Hearing me. But what? And let's cue. I want to charge my weapon. Ha! There we go. And I did not charge my weapon in actuality because I got interrupted. But hey, combat's going better this time. Whoop. Oh god, okay, and there we go. Oh crap, they can even break that. Son of a... These tight quarters are not working out for me. Ooh. Ooh. Chance in those guys, I swear. They can go by somewhere else and good riddance. That's good. I was sure we could come to a mutual <laughs> okay. understanding. Oh, all right. Good thing that that ended just then, as I almost got taken down another time. Ah, close quarters is not good for me. <laughs> this game's combat is very, very difficult. And seriously, Innocence, what the hell, man? You get taken down way too quickly. <laughs> okay. 
All right, let's head back out this way to inform them, I guess, is what I need to do. Or do I? Do I need to do that? Let's look at the side quests. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, go back to inform them. So let's roll. Go through all these guys. Still kind of tempted to drain them of fluid. Oh, R. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <sighs> all right, let's make our way through here. And they were just oop, over this way. Thank you. I'd never be back in my workshop if it hadn't been for you. You saved my life, you know. Eh, don't mention it. Return the favor. I went for a non-violent approach. At least with them, they decided to leave the place on their own. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't look real happy. They even threatened me. But at least they left. Guess I should think about getting some kind of weapon. That would be appreciated. I'd be able to protect myself. Might be a good idea. Oh, well, he meant for him. Scumbags around here. I thought he was going to give me something nice. If you don't show a few teeth, you'll sleep outside again, and they'll just walk all over you. Ah, you got that right. I'll go. What's the deal with this place? How did it become the hangout for all the addicts in Shadow Lair? Uh, no, hey, economy. Really. But if I told you this part of the city used to be really happy and lively, well, that'd be a happy and lively pile of crap. All right. I've been living here for 40 years now, and it's only ever been a slum. The slum, like everyone calls it, even if none of the other parts of town are all that great either. Anyway, it still found a way to go downhill. People weren't real happy, that's for sure, but they at least didn't go getting all violent like that. They got sold a dream, and they were let down. All right. The plot thickens and, with this uh, town. Who sold it to them? Oh, lots of folks. Same ones that promised everybody water, a place in the shade, or even just a job to make life easier. You know. The same one who promised them a future if they joined the army and told everybody one day we'll all go back to Earth. And of course, there's those that try to get you to believe everything will be better as soon as you stick a needle in your arm. But those guys are smart. Half the time, what they say is true. One of them hangs out here, apparently. Don't ask me where, but the slums is turf. And seeing as the army doesn't come around that often, pretty much all the junkies are here. Mm -hmm. I thought you couldn't stand those addicts. Eh, sometimes I get carried away, say things I shouldn't. But Especially, you, you know, when they squat in your me, workshop. And that's all I needed. I got nothing against those kids, to be honest. You can't really say they ever had it easy. Back in the day, we weren't exactly well off, but at least we had hope. I gotta admit, I don't really see why you stick around this dump. We moved here nearly 40 years ago, my wife and I. Wasn't the lap of luxury, but we couldn't really afford anything else. And there were things to do around here at the time. She was an artist, you know? I just ran the store. Compared to what she could do with her hands, the Technomancers were nothing. She was a real magician. She's not here anymore. But I can't leave our workshop. We built it together. I'd have liked to know the place was going to survive both of us. If we'd had had a kid, that would have been what we wanted more than anything. Well, almost anything. I see. Oh, poor guy. Since you've been living here, you must have heard about Charity, I guess. Of course. Great woman. I don't even want to think what things would be like around here without her. I suppose so. It's not what you think. She's got good company, that's for sure, but that's not all she does. You know? <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. It may seem like an old-fashioned idea, but she's a good person. She helps people. And has enough influence so things run pretty much smoothly, even though the militia disappeared. It's sure not the source or its soldiers who are going to do that for us. Hooker or not, it's people like her that we need, not them. Maybe Wisdom and his guard dog should try selling their bodies to see what it's like. They could do with a change of perspective. <laughs> I mean, nice. don't go repeating that, of course. You tend to relax a bit when the cat's not around. No problem. I can't even think of how to fit it into a conversation. Yeah, I'm sure I could find a way. All right. Later. 
learned a bit more about the slums here and what all's happened to them. I uh, definitely like it. As I've said before, there is a lot of good backstory in this area. So I'm quite excited to learn more about it. And yeah, definitely the plot seems to be thickening with all the things that have been happening in this town. Hey, we got another tree. Yay. I like the random trees that are just kind of dotted about. Excellent. Yes, but I think that is going to be me for this episode. Had a lot of fun. Got beaten up a good few times, but hey, I'm still learning this combat system. It's it's a lot more complicated than I first thought it was going to be when I started the game. <laughs> With all the various powers that we have, and we still have more to learn, and so oh, trying to figure out the timings on these things so I don't get uh, stopped in mid-charge. Oof, yeah, got a lot to learn still. And, of course, innocence, kind of getting useless in a fight. Every time, goes down pretty quick. But hey, at least he's a distraction, I guess. <laughs> oh, what I'm saying, I like the kid. He's definitely got a good story to him as well. And yeah, I'm going to have to read the rest of the logs, as I'm sure there's been a few more logs posted up in the diary since I last looked at them. So yes, I do hope you have all enjoyed this episode, and of course that you come back for the next, and have a good one.